Hi, I'm Tom D and this is continuation of the series in which I want to explain you how to efficiently export data from Elasticsearch. In this video I want to show you how to do it using search after API request in Elasticsearch. Let's start. Docker volume create config and docker volume create our data this is for your convenience so whenever you want to restart your work later on your data that you loaded to Elasticsearch won't be lost in a container so that's why I recommend you to create the config and uh, volume for data use a command that uh, using those volumes like elect config and elect data important is max content left so you can load more than 100 megabyte file let's start it it started in the background because there's minus d option as daemon to check if it's up and running first you need to set up password for Elasticsearch. to set the one two three four five six password you can use the one liner it's using pipe as a communication channel so you can provide your password without responding to the prompts just click enter and and then password for the elastic user successfully reset let's check the status now create a new request localhost cluster half cluster half authorization basic author out one two three four five six sent cluster is green now now to load the data first create the mapping this is mapping for a file that look like this a connection name start connection and that's it so connection name and start connection number of replicas is zero because it's one node cluster so it won't be yellow This is important, data binary, and redirect this to null so you will not see million of entries. Okay, let's check if data is loaded. Duplicate tab. Cut in this is sent. So now there is a up and running elastic search with one million documents. Now to use search after properly, first step is to create point in time. Duplicate tab, type connections as your index name, slash point in time pit. Now as a parameter, keep alive and specify time, let's say 10 minutes. Change request to post, send it. Now there is ID. This ID you will use as a reference to this point in time. It will be valid for 10 minutes. Now you can create the search request and use that point in time. Duplicate tab, type search, type search in a body, raw, JSON. Here, query is match all, so it will match all the documents. Point in time id copy from the previous step now you have id here so you will use that point in time that state of index so if there is a deletion or creation of a new document during uh, the time that you are downloading documents it will not affect you keep alive you can extend this for another 10 minutes right or one minute sort Shard doc is a default one, but you need to specify it here because otherwise in a response there will be not sort element and that will not allow you to put it in the search after the value of sort. Track total hits as false, so it will execute faster. Run it. Now is a response. There are the hits. And there is a sort. If you scroll down to the end, this is the last value. This value is important in the next step. So now duplicate tab, 
in the body specify search after. Open array and here place the value that was response from the last. Now if you run it, you get another portion of documents. So now the value of ID is equal to the sort value. And here, if you scroll down, you will see that the sort value right now is ending with 80. So if you run again, search after with updated value, now it will be 79 to 70. You can keep on repeating that until you download all the documents. And of course, you don't want to do that manually. But you can notice right now that this is kind of a loop that is easy to implement with the script. Because once you will get the point in time ID, and later on, once you will get your first sort value in a response, you can use it in a search after field in a loop to retrieve all the documents until you not have any response. So let's say I will specify one in the search after and there is a zero over here. So if I change it right now to zero, because here's a one document with ID one. So I change search after to zero right now. It will not return any documents. So your loop will end once it will reach that situation. Let's have a look at the script. This is Python script that asking you about username and password over here, creating the output file. And here is the first step to measure the time and then create point in time. It run this request, parsing the value of ID and then using that in the next step. So first step is always without search after because it need to get the sort value. And once it gets it, there's this loop that is over here. In this loop, there's a search query that is with search after and it keep on running until this response of hit is empty. So let's run it. asking for username, elastic, and password. Now it's executing. After a moment, it will display the time of execution, how long it took. And you can check that file. It's looking like this. So it contains all the documents, 1 million documents. Let's see number of lines. It's 1 million. So in this small tutorial, you have learned how to download the documents by using a simple script using the search after API request in Elasticsearch. Bye.